गाइस दिस इज विजय एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कॉचरन बॉयलर ओके द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दिस बॉयलर इज इट इज अ वर्टिकल बॉयलर एंड इट इज इंटरनली फायर बॉयलर ओके एंड इट इज अ स्टेशनरी बॉयलर एज वेल एज हियर यू कैन सी दैट हियर वी आर यूजिंग नंबर ऑफ ट्यूब सो इट इज अ मल्टी ट्यूबुलर बॉयलर ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कॉचरन बॉयलर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स देन आफ्टर वी विल डिस्कस द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कॉचरन बॉयलर ओके हियर यू कैन सी दैट एट द बॉटम साइड ऑफ द फायर बॉक्स ओके दिस इज अ फायर बॉक्स हियर द कंबस्टन विल बी टेक प्लेस uh one side of the fire box it is connected with the fire door okay from the fire door uh, you can uh, add the coals uh, and uh, you can put the coal on the surface of grate okay here you can see that okay this is a grate grate is nothing else it is a perforated tray on which you can put the coal okay why it is perforated tray so after completion of combustion okay due to gravity as is pulled down and it is collected in s pit okay so the function of the s pit is to collect the s okay and the function of the grate is uh, to hold the coal okay on its surface okay the function of the fire door is uh, you can add the coal from this fire door okay here you can see that the fire box it is connected with uh, one short pipe okay this pipe is called flue pipe okay so uh, whatever the combustion will be take place in the fire box okay here you can supply the air for the combustion we know that combustion means it is the chemical process okay for combustion we required the air so here uh, we supplied the air and uh, here we put the coal on the surface of grate okay so after the uh, combustion okay the flue gases or hot gases is produced okay this flue gases it will pass through this flue pipe okay here you can see that it is a short pipe okay it will connect the combustion chamber with fire box okay and uh, here you can see that okay this combustion chamber okay uh, one side of the combustion chamber uh, here you can see that it is a uh, fire brick lining material okay and the function of this uh, fire bricks it will deflect the flue gases okay whatever the flue gases is coming from the fire box okay uh, and uh, here uh, it will come from the uh, flue pipe okay then after uh, this uh, bricks it will deflect the flue gases or hot gases and then after it will pass through the bundle of tubes here you can see that by uh, arrows okay it is the direction of the hot or flue gases okay so here you can see that the combustion will be take place inside the tubes or hot gases will pass through the tubes so it is called internally fire boilers and here number of tubes is more than one so it is a multi tubular boiler okay surrounded the tubes here you can see that this is a water here you can see that this is a feed check valve okay from feed check valve you can uh, fill up the water in the cell okay this is a cell and the main characteristic uh, and the main characteristic of this boiler is here you can see that the fire box is also hemispherical shape and the top of the cell it is also hemispherical shape okay this hemispherical shape it will provide the better strength as well as uh, uh, we require the less material okay and uh, it is in compact in size okay so this is the main feature of this boiler okay it is a vertical boiler so here you can see that uh, surrounded the tubes uh, water is filled through the feed check valve okay from water inlet here you can see that okay this flue gases it will pass through the tubes okay and uh, it will transfer the heat to the water so water will start to boil okay and uh, one side of the combustion chamber okay here you can see that the combustion chamber it is connected uh, one side with the uh, fire bricks and tubes openings are provided and other side of the combustion chamber here you can see that uh, a smoke box is provided and the function of the smoke box is to collect the hot or exhaust gases uh then after it is uh, rejected to the atmosphere through the chimney okay whatever the steam it is produce okay it is collected on uh, top side of the dome okay here you can see that it is a hemispherical dome okay we have already discussed okay this is the main feature of this boiler okay here steam is collected top side because we know that the density of steam is less as compared to water so water is always remain bottom side and steam is remain top side 
okay uh, here you can see that there are a number of uh, septis are attached with the dome okay the first one is the pressure gauge its function is to measure the pressure okay uh, here you can see that water level indicator so here you can see that one end of the water level indicator it is connected with the water side and other end is connected with the steam side so uh, whenever we fill up the water so at that time uh, it will indicate the level of water inside the cell okay it is also for safety purpose we have already discussed in our previous lecture okay, in boiler we are using two types of equipment accessories and mounting mounting means those part in the boiler okay which is necessarily required without this part we cannot operate the boiler and accessories means those part in the boiler okay uh, which is not necessarily uh, required in the boiler but whenever we use it at that time we can increase the efficiency of the boiler okay so this is the mounting water level indicator it will uh, measure the level of water uh, water inlet uh, means uh, feed check valve okay the function of the feed check valve to feed the water in the cell then after anti priming pipe okay the function of the anti priming pipe is to remove the water particles okay uh, here you can see that in the dome side okay steam is collected because of the lower density it is always remain top side okay so sometimes what happens some water particles are also suspended in the steam okay and uh, whenever this this water particles is uh, supplied to turbine so it will damage the uh, turbine blades so here we are using anti priming pipe okay it will remove the water particles from the steam then after it will supply to the superheater and then after turbine okay so this is the function of anti priming pipe here you can see that this is a main hole okay this main hole is provided for inspection purpose okay whenever uh, any maintenance is there in the boiler okay at that time uh, person can enter uh, through this hole for uh, inspection or uh, we can inspect the internal parts of the boiler okay this is a steam stop valve okay so the function of the steam stop valve is to collect the steam whenever it is required okay so here you can collect the steam and uh, you can supply it to the superheater then after it is supplied to the turbine or you can use it uh, this steam for any process okay this is a safety valve okay same as in pressure cooker we are using a loaded valve same as it is a pressure vessel okay boiler means it is a closed pressure vessel okay so uh, whenever we handle the steam at that time uh, we require the number of septies okay uh, to operate the boiler so it is one of the safety valve okay so whenever the pressure inside the cell it will be increases at that time it will open and it will release the steam to the atmosphere it is also provided for safety purpose and it is the mounting in the boiler okay so these are the different parts of the boiler okay uh, okay which one is remaining yes flue pipe okay we have already discussed uh, flue pipe uh, it is a internally fired boiler and uh, the flue gases is passed through these tubes okay then after a uh, fusible plug okay the function of the fusible plug is okay sometimes uh, the main uh, mountings are not operated due to some reason uh, for example our water level indicator it uh, it will not work properly so at that time uh, for the safety purpose the other uh, safety is provided uh, in the combustion chamber side here you can see that it is a fusible plug okay and it is provided uh, uh, on combustion uh, chamber wall side okay so on top side of the combustion chamber here you can see that there is a level of water and here uh, there is a hot gases are there okay in the bottom portion of the fusible plug okay so whenever the level of the water it will be decreases in the cell okay at that time uh, the heat is supplied to the fusible plug okay so here already heat is supplied to the fusible plug but it is absorbed by the water so it will not melt but whenever the level of the water is fall down so at that time this heat is directly supplied to this fusible plug and it will melt and steam will enter into the combustion chamber and it will stop the combustion so it is also provided for the safety purpose okay this type of safety valve is uh, also used in our pressure cooker okay whenever you observe the pressure cooker uh, 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 top side cover so in top side cover uh, hexagonal nut is provided okay it is also fusible plug okay so in that fusible plug we are using that type of material which has a lower melting point 
okay so same function of this fusible plug in our pressure cooker so sometimes uh, in pressure cooker the loaded valve is not properly work so at that time this valve will melt due to uh, uh, heat of steam and it will release the steam so it is also provided for safety purpose in our pressure cooker so this is the overview of different parts of the coacher and boiler now we will discuss working how can it's work okay so first of all from the fire door okay uh, we can provide the coal for the combustion okay and we can put the coal uh, on the surface of grate okay we have already discussed grate means it is a perforated tray on which we can put the coal so it is a holding surface okay to put the coal okay then after combustion will start in the firebox okay so due to the combustion the hot gases or flue gases are produced this flue gases it will pass through the short pipe then after uh, it will deflect uh, from the uh, brick lining okay so whatever the flue gases it is produced from the uh, firebox it will pass through this short pipe and it will enter into the combustion chamber here you can see that one side of the combustion chamber uh, here you can see that uh, one side of the combustion chamber there is a fire brick lining and other side of the combustion chamber uh, openings are provided and smoke box is there okay so this brick lining material it will deflect the gases it will deflect the hot gases so the hot gas or flue gases it will pass through the bundle of tubes okay and the heat transfer it will be take place between the gases and water okay here in the tubes uh, flue gases or hot gases are there and surrounded uh, there there, is, there will be a water so water will receive the heat from the flue gases and uh, it will start to boil and it will generate the steam and we know that the density of the steam is less than one or approximate one so it is always remain top side and the density of water is 1000 so it is always remain bottom side so in hemispherical shape here the steam is collected okay whatever the steam is produced it is collected in the dome okay and uh, whenever the level of the water it will be decreased so you can uh, feed the water from the feed check valve okay and uh, you can check it the level of the water level indicator from the water level indicator instrument or we can say mountain okay then after this uh, exhaust gases uh, it is collected exhaust gases it is collected in the smoke box then after uh, it is uh, uh, exposed to the atmosphere or released to the atmosphere so the whatever the steam is uh, produced in the uh, boiler okay it is collected in the dome side and then after uh, you can use it okay in uh, some of the processes like as uh, soda as manufacturing okay in uh, milk industries okay there are so many application of the steam we have already discussed in my previous lecture introduction okay what is boiler and classification of boiler you can watch it for uh, more information uh, then after steam is uh, supplied to the turbine and turbine uh, means it is a work output device it will produce the power okay so this is the overview of working of coach and thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you